Free childcare in the UK is expanding, so let's break it down. At the moment, our country's childcare costs are some of the highest in the world, costing parents as much as £14,000 a year. But Chancellor Jeremy Hunt has just announced more help for working parents starting April of next year, and it's coming in stages. So, phase one will see 15 hours of free childcare available weekly for two-year-olds. And beginning September 2024, those aged nine months and up will get 15 hours free too. Phase three, expected by September 2025, will see all single working parents of an under five eligible for 30 hours of free childcare weekly. But what has changed? Currently in England, all three and four years old are eligible for between 15 to 30 hours of weekly childcare, depending on whether their parents work, and two years old can get 15 hours free, but only with certain criteria, such as their parents being on universal credit. Did you know that childcare costs in the UK can take as much as 65% of one parent's median wage? When an average cost of sending an under two to nursery full-time is £263 per week, so it's no surprise that it all adds up. Considering the rise of inflation and the cost of living crisis, many will welcome this news, though there's still a year to go before any of this comes into effect. So how does the UK's childcare compare to the rest of the world? Well, Sweden has a pretty good thing going on right now. There's a cap on how much parents pay, with fees based on household incomes. So parents never pay more than the equivalent of £126 per child per month. But on the other end of the scale is Switzerland, which has a more expensive childcare cost than us. The average cost of childcare in Switzerland can hit £22,129 annually, or 25% of the family's net income. And in New Zealand, childcare costs can take up to 28% of a family's net income. It's estimated that the expansion of the free childcare in the UK could get 60,000 parents back to work. At the moment, one of the main drivers of the gender pay gap is the so-called motherhood penalty. This is where moms leave work altogether because it's more affordable than paying for childcare on top of their 9 to 5. So could this finally help tackle that? Well, only time will tell. So, what do you think? Has the government done enough to help parents?